So uh, welcome to Langkawi and uh, welcome to the, uh, the Dana Hotel. The Dana Hotel uh, in Langkawi. It's a very famous uh, awarded hotel here. It's sort of a British colonial style design hotel. A very uh, lovely uh, sea view room. Viceroy room it's called. So uh, we're going to have a look around. The Dana Langkawi. Alright, I'll see you inside. So welcome inside uh, the marina. Marina at the, the Dana Hotel, Langkawi. Yeah, so this marina here, it's, uh, it's just outside the hotel. It's a nice uh, yacht parked outside. Some nice little coffee shops. People enjoying themselves on a Sunday. The resort is just over here. So just uh, walk into the uh, just walk into the uh, the Dana Hotel. Okay, it's just here. So a traditional colonial British Empire kind of building. Got a uh, it's called a Viceroy Sea View Room. Uh, in the hills, it's we're literally right next to the Langkawi cable car. We're in the hills of uh, Langkawi here. And, uh, let's take you inside from the marina. Yep, the hotel, the Dana. It's a highly rated, uh, highly rated place here. It's the main entrance. You can see by the, uh, the structures there. There's waterfall at the front. Nice people. The Dana Langkawi. Okay, so see inside. Yeah, so welcome inside. Uh, welcome inside the uh, the Dana Hotel. Just uh, standing on the balcony, standing on the balcony of my, my room here. It's, uh, it's called a Viceroy room. And uh, you get some great views of the, uh, the Andaman Sea and uh, the hills of Langkawi. Uh, some lovely beaches and uh, building some villas down there. This is how God made Malaysia. Beautiful beaches. Great people, all right? Great people, number one. Yeah, beach is nice. We'll walk down there, I'll walk down there from my room. View the ocean. Yeah, it's just sitting on the balcony. It's called a, a Viceroy room. To get uh, little deck chairs and balcony and stuff like that. So I welcome the uh, the Dana Hotel in Langkawi, Malaysia. All right. So it looks like it's the room. So it's a viceroy room, uh, which basically means it's sea view. They got uh, resort view and uh, even sports fans. Greetings, the Dana, Langkawi. Yeah, it's a bathroom here, like this. Yeah, a bathtub that looks out the place. We stand in there and have a look and then we'll carry on with the walk. That's the bathtub. And we'll be on site and you're having a bath in the evening. That's what you'll see.
Det er jo fint. Det er well finished. Five star hotel room. Yeah, there's not much in here. We'll just uh, get your uh, stuff like that. Jacker, Jacker is the local uh, uh, stuff. Your uh, mini bar in here. It's even got Dana written on it. Yeah. Fully stocked. Alright, not waste too much time in there. The BBC on the box. Yeah, it's the room. Uh, you pay what? 300 US? 300 US for this. Uh, Ritz Carlton, where I was at yesterday, is a uh, thousand US. Yes, yeah, so you see the difference. Beautiful room. Let's quickly look out the window, the balcony, and I'll walk you down to the beach. I'm going for the cable car ride later, yeah? That's why uh, a bit rushed. Yeah, so those are the villas. Uh, the hotel's upgrading, yeah. It's, a fa it's quite a famous hotel. It's sort of built in a sort of colonial, British Empire colonial type styling. So they're building some villas there. Uh, look at the terrace. That's the terrace. Uh, terrace bar there. The restaurant and stuff for the people there. Hotel pool. Yeah, the Ritz Carlton where I was at earlier is 1,000 US a night, yeah, because there's nobody in the pool. All right, that's the difference. You come on holiday to relax. Yeah, there's the balconies next doors. Lovely views of the ocean. Lots of boats there as well, yeah. There are people, yeah, who uh, like they would sail up from Singapore or down from Phuket. Langkawi is right up near the uh, Thai border, right in the north uh, northwest coast of Malaysia. The people who just sail up, sail up or down, check in the hotel, you know, like wait somewhere to park your boat, and then uh, carry on with the with the sailing. Uh, I did that on an aeroplane like once a month. Some people do it on a boat. Yeah. Lovely, yeah? Anyway, yeah, that's the view. Look at the street side uh, down there. All right, let's go. Let's go for a walk around the place. Left my towel out. We'll pick it up on the walk. We don't forget, looks like there's a lighthouse there. In fact, the lighthouse at the Gaul. Again, it's in, where is it? March, eh, no, April. April, yeah. Book all that stuff in advance. Cape Veligama gets booked out well early. Cape Veligama, go there, all right? Anyway, we'll talk about Malaysia. Sports fans, greetings. Look at that, you see the, uh, yeah, all right. Let's go for a walk. Pick up the towel on the walk. Let's quickly do Google Maps. You see the fruit they give you when you come in? Salamat Datang is welcome. General managers, uh, yeah, Salamat Datang is local welcome. Get fruits and stuff. Quick do Google Maps. Look at that while I unlock Google Maps. Yep, so we are here at the Dana in Langkawi. It's a little harbour out the front, Talaga Harbour. The cable car, the famous Langkawi cable car. Just there, so the Oriental Village. Yeah, Langkawi Cable Car, you go up there. Uh, Seven Walls Waterfall, Ritz Carlton's there. Airport's there, so we're very, it's very conveniently located. St. Regis is down there, Four Seasons is up there, all right? It's a very convenient location on Langkawi. Malaysia, truly Asia. Let's close that down, all right. Yeah, let's go for a walk around the hotel. And it's much more in here. I'll show you the towel from the walk. Red boy! Hey, anyway, mate. Welcome to Malaysia. It's the North Face. We're right in the northern tip of Malaysia, right at the Thai border. It's Langkawi. Penang is 100 kilometers further south. Room 533, top floor. <coughs> top floor. That's your key card. The dinner. Langkawi. Yeah, we're on the top of the hotel, we've got a nice little garden. It's a bit like the Raffles, yeah? Raffles, you know Raffles Hotel in Singapore? Like that a bit. It's also a British Empire colonial kind of design. And uh, you can just see the uh, the top station and the middle station for the Langkawi cable car. It's up there. If I have time, I will go up there and make a video today. 
Yeah, top station, no station. Five minutes to get there, to the Oriental Village. Yeah, all right, let's go. Yeah, if I can be bothered, uh, if I have the time, I'll go up there and uh, show what it looks like up there. I have made a video on the cable car before, yeah, but it was cloudy and uh, I only went up to the middle station, I didn't go to the top station, so uh, we'll do that. Anyway, down there. There's some little ponds there. There's some fish down there. Look at the fishies. Innocently swimming away. They don't know what's going to happen to them. Our uh, top floor will have the Royal Imperial Suite. And so on. Yeah, so uh, lobbies on the ground floor. We've got the billiard room and stuff. We'll skip the billiard room. Let's go straight down the stairs to get the uh, fifth floor. Top floor, mate. Slide. Take a lift. See what's down here. Get rooms. Lovely little hotel. I'll take it over the gardens. Alright, lift should be here. Perfect timing. We shall go. Press two buttons there. Yeah, we'll go down, we'll go, uh, there's nothing in the lift. Uh, let's go down, around the G, walk around, 221. Yeah, it's one of these uh, colonial kind of buildings you saw from outside. Come on, hurry up. Sorry for wasting 20 seconds of your life. Open the door, man. One. Hey. Okay. I meant to get down at G. It's the first time in my life I'm going there. Have a look. Get a flavour of the place. Okay, so the steps are there. It's alright, isn't it? So rich people hang out. Got a chess board here as well. Yeah, the pool. Yeah, so that's the harbour and stuff out there. It's a lovely day in uh, Langkawi. I think it's a library, yeah? Let's focus on that. Okay, straight some code is downstairs. Let's see what's down here. Yeah, I'm sorry to be uh, rushed about this tour. It's games room. See, we meet Lewis Hamilton. I'm sorry to be rushed about this. But, uh... Right, billiard room. This one is on the hotel website. So I want to get this in. Billiard room. There we are. Steve Davis. Henry, what's his name? Scottish guy, Henry. Steve Davis, made the sport. Billiard room, at the diner. Yeah, Steve Davis, there you go mate. Welcome to Malaysia. Hey. Yeah, so to be uh, arrogant and rushed about this tour, but uh, Okay, let's get downstairs. Walk to the gardens. That's the place, the dana. Walk to the gardens. Go out the beach. Alright. Don't fall down the stairs. Hi. Yeah. Way out is that way, huh? The way out is this way, yeah? Uh, here. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Found myself in the shop. Yeah, we'll come back here. We'll just walk to the gardens. 
Yeah, you see what I mean? It's like the Raffles Hotel in Singapore, isn't it? Lovely, uh, I feel like the Taj Mahal. The Mahal of Taj. Just the gardens, gardens in the middle. Got some fish in here as well. Not around. See the fish. It's the fuss on swimming around. Like a seating area here. Yeah. No fish. Hi right, boys. Monsieur Macron. Yeah, lovely touches around the place. Yeah, my room is up there. We'll see the uh, we'll see the tower from the beach. Looking at trees and stuff. Go around. Gardens. It's a nice compact little hotel. It's not vast and spacious. It's not vast and spacious. You know, I, uh, I've stayed at the Ritz Carlton's Four Seasons in uh, St. Regis here, yeah? Watch those videos, yeah? Those are large places. This one is very compact. Give me 10 minutes. It's the fishy. Come back here and feed them later. I'll sit in the bar later, yeah? Yeah, there's cashew nuts they give you when you're in the bar, like... Yeah, let's go and chuck it in the, there and... Uh, see what they do. Alright boys, I'll see you later. <coughs> yeah, lobby's just through here. Lobby. Checking, checking and stuff. It's uh, just get there checking. There's paintings on the wall. Yeah, so the designer, yeah, it's one of these like they refurbished the place seven years ago. They're selling t shirts with the uh, Hotel shop that I just found myself in now. They've got t-shirts with seven on because they refurbished the place seven years ago. And uh, yeah, this is how uh, like 150 years ago, you know, the British Empire is locked. You know, like the British Empire, just talk softly, yeah. Uh, this is how they would was in a wine and dine. Um, if you ever sort of get to be a student at Cambridge University, uh, it's a bit like this. I was there for five years. The late 20th century. But this is how we would uh, sort of wine and dine. And uh, I do stuff. It's beautiful, isn't it? University was free. This place is 300 years a night. It's beautiful, I like it. Yeah, it's called a veranda bar. It's the gardens outside. Some common themes. Some common themes. More than familiar with. Alright, it's Waterhouse Beach. Sports fans, we shall walk around the beach. To work on my suntan, you know? This is uh, Planters, this is the breakfast place. It's one of the restaurants here, Planters. That is. <coughs> I'd like to go in. Yeah, it's that. Straits and Co. And the Straits of Hormuz. Sorry, Straits of Malacca. Straits of Malacca, yeah. There's the gardens there. It's cool, isn't it? 
place in Malacca. That's the pool. That's why it's only 300 US a night, yeah? It's full of people. Yeah, I might put the camera on me. Lovely, yeah? Oh, really cool. More fish. Alright, boys. More fish at the gunner. Alright, we are uh, we're going past the pool here, alright? That's what the pool looks like. Alright, what are we doing in the pool? Alright, look at my face for 30 seconds, alright? Uh, who knows how far it is to the moon? How far is it to the moon? How long would it take? You fly Singapore Airlines first class. Singapore Airlines first class, how long would it take to go to the moon? Is it quicker if you fly first class or business class? To go to the moon, yeah? Just look at my room. Uh, and does it make a difference uh, if the plane has two engines or four engines? Alright? Let's walk around. Alright, let's tell us. My room. Alright, right, it's up there. Alright, let's tell us. Yeah, it's the pool here. It's alright, innit? It's up from the room. Toilet's. Hi, hi, hi. Alright. Toilet's full of people, yeah? Come on holiday, yeah? Pay 300 US dollars, yeah? Surrounded by people. You might as well just stay at home. Pay a thousand and stay at the Ritz, that's what I say. Alright, the gardens. Gardens of the Dana. Ready, that's the place. So my room. It's that one there. See the towel? Put it out, yeah, we're there 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 15 minutes. That's my room. It's a nice compact little hotel. Uh, you will meet people from all over the world here. It's a great place to... Uh, the cultural melting pot of humanity. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's go down the beach. So the beach looks like the banana. Yeah, the villas are on that side of the building. Ah, just walk around. Some coconut trees here. The uh, botanical variety. Hi. Yeah, it's the beach people. There should be a water sports centre down here somewhere. It's going to have feet wet. Now I have to give I have to give it to the Dana, yeah. This is it's actually a very good hotel, despite my sarcastic comments. It's a very good hotel and uh, it's a lovely place to be. Let's walk on the beach for a minute. Should be a should be a uh, be a crocodile here somewhere. Alright, well, thanks for watching the tour. The Dana Langkawi, Malaysia. Truly Asia. Finish in the water. The Dana Langkawi. Oh, it's beautiful and warm. Oh, the water is lovely. 
All right, and if it's cold, I'll tell you it's cold. If it's warm, I'll tell you it's warm, it's warm. It's beautiful, cable car station up there. Top station and middle station. And the water is lovely and warm. I'm standing in. Thanks for watching the tour. And uh, we shall see you next time, people. All right, bye. Should we go around again? No. Alright, ciao.